All right, guys, Kazoo71 here back on Primal Fear on my server. And as you can see, I'm flashing across the bottom the mods I'm using on the server. They're Primal Fear, Ebonus, Astrium, Superstructures, Dino Storage version 2, Awesome Spyglass, and the Death Inventory Keeper. These are the mods that I'm using on this server. So you know why if you die, you keep your stuff. That's why. Um, and then what we're going to do is start this one. I found another Tarantula. Um, and we tamed the one, so I was trying to find a, a breeding pair. So I got this one, so I just kind of flash forward there. I'm almost back to the base now. And for some reason, this one didn't attack me. Like that one I showed you guys in a previous, it was attacking me. And I'm almost positive it was because it was a toxic one and I didn't notice. So this one's a normal one. Um, now they will attack you if you kind of go up or down at the RG. So when you're carrying stuff, if you keep it like uh, steady or level, a lot of things won't attack you, but if you kind of move up or down, they will. Now, there's some things that will attack you no matter what when you grab them, so just keep that in mind. But some of these things, you can keep them from fighting you or biting you while you're carrying them as long as you stay steady and you stay, at an stay straight. No angles. So what I'm doing is grabbing some tranks here. We're going to knock this thing out. I'm going to show you guys a couple of clips of this, but I don't want to show you the whole thing. As I said, it's a lot boring. But at this point now, we're starting to get these tranks done. We realize that these tranks are way better. And also that these tame helpers we've been picking up have a ability to make these tames almost instant. It's really cool. So what you do is you put the food in there, you put one of the tame helpers, there's a tame helper 50, 100, and 200. And it's like 50 times more, 100 times more, 200 times more hungry they get. And so they eat quicker. So that's all it is. So she's going to throw some meat in there and throw some, a tame helper in there. And that thing's going to tame almost almost instantly, which is really cool. So then we're just going to flash forward here. And she's got it out of the trap. And I just want to show you guys the glitch where its legs aren't moving. It's freaking hilarious. And it just followed her. And I don't know, it's, it's glitching all over the place. So that's why I left this in here. Because what the heck is going on? What in the world? Look at this. The legs aren't even moving. This glitch, this mod has got some glitch. It's really cool mod, but it's got some serious glitches. And this is one of them. I'll show you guys a couple in this episode because one of them, I just do not understand what happened. And there's just, there's no reasonable explanation for it except for it's a glitch. So there we go. I put it in the, uh, the C mode so I could do that little thing. And all of a sudden the legs came out and now it works. Cause she was telling me she could see the legs moving, but I couldn't see them moving. So flash forward just a little bit. What we did was we bred them, and then we have the eggs. They're about to hatch. So um, we're going to check out these guys. And I got the Dino Storage 2 version 2 mod on, like I said. So uh, that thing will pick them up when they hatch. And then so I, what I did was I take the soul balls out of the terminal so don't pick them up so we can look at them. But they're about to hatch. And we're just going to show you guys what these baby tarantulas look like. Tarantulas, tarantulas. We call them T's. It's just easier. We don't want to type the whole thing. So, well, I mean, this is when I run upstairs and realize, hey, wait a minute. This thing's going to pick them up. Let me, let me get the soul balls out. And I can't even run straight. So, take these out. That way, don't pick them up. And we can see them when they hatch. And then I'm going to forget to put them back in there later. And, and some other stuff's going to die. <laughs> but there you go. They just hatched. So, I had to imprint on that one because I was close enough. Now we got twins. So, that's cool. And then my partner here decided she wanted to call them Spick and Span, so it's pretty funny. But uh, there you go, two baby tarantulas. Now the other stuff on this mod, like the dodos and stuff, when you hatch them, they raise like really, really quick. These tarantulas, they take forever to raise. These things are super, super slow. So you got to watch them. Make sure you're putting meat in there. Make sure you have a feeding trough around them. If you're far enough alone to have the, the nanny, make sure you got a nanny out and have that nanny full of meat because these things are going to need it. Takes a very long time to raise these guys. Spick and span. Baby spiders. Really creepy looking. These things, these tarantulas are freaking creepy. You know what? They're so creepy that people have such a thing that on the mod page of this this primal fear, he's got the codes for how to turn the tarantulas off if you're running a server and no one wants a mod. I don't blame them. I understand these things are creepy. But they're pretty funny. So anyway. Lots of things are creepy. They got the big arneos on here. Why can't you have tarantulas? We already have spiders on here, so just get get over it. It's a spider. And sorry about that. She was just posting an image. She took a picture of it and posted the image on the Discord channel. So, by the way, if you want to join the Discord, please do. It's in my um, description of the video down there. If you got any questions or anything, if you're interested in joining the server, uh, feel feel free. Just have a couple of rules, you know. Um, 
basically don't grieve others and stuff it's a pve server we don't mess with each other we don't try to kill each other you're gonna die enough on your own without doing that kind of stuff so flash forward here there is a primal tech parasaur on an island so i decided i want to try to kill this thing and see what happens and here's the second glitch so i'm gonna take aim at this thing and see how far i am away from this what in the world how did i die that just makes no sense whatsoever it was nowhere near me. I died instantly. I mean, nothing was near me. There's no way that that thing killed me. It was just a glitch. So they have some set with these guys, with these parasaurs, or these tech ones that'll kill you if you're close, but I wasn't close. And look, my RG trap and all the stones, everything's gone. It's like everything blew up. So it's almost like a Nuka Dodo was out there, but there was not a Nuka Dodo because I looked around, there's nothing out here. So it was a total glitch. Everything blew up and just disappeared. All the trees, all the rocks, my trap, everything's gone. Yeah. No dodo here. All right? Nothing here. Is that a dodo? Oh, that might have been. There's something right behind me. That could have been a nuka dodo. Maybe. I might be wrong. So there may be not a glitch. It looked like there was something on the ground that I didn't look at. That could have been a dodo. I would guess it was a nuka dodo because... Uh, um, too much stuff was gone. A kamikaze wouldn't have blown that much up. I had to have been a nuka one. So there you go. That's probably what happened, guys. I probably got blown up by a nuka dodo, and I just didn't realize it. So I guess it does make sense. Okay, anyway, I'm going to try to hit this, uh, this pterodon, this parasaur here, and I want to make it lead me again, and I'm hoping I don't blow up again, because at this point I didn't know that there was a dodo on the ground. I wish I could go back and see it and show you guys, but... Yeah, I can't do it. But there was something dead on the ground right behind me, so that had to have been a nuka. All I gotta do is hit this thing once. Hey, right, there we go. Got him. Okay, cool. And I didn't die instantly, so at this point I didn't know. And it should be chasing me. As you can see it in the background, it's chasing me. It's mad. It wants to kill everything. The primals just kill anything that get near them. It's just crazy. So I'm trying to keep its attention. It got distracted by that dodo. And another dodo. So what my plan is, guys, to kill this thing, I'm going to lead it in a trap. And this will be the first one I try to kill because they're super deadly. Um, the Parasaurs are not as deadly as the Triceratops and the Stegosauruses, but they are just they are pretty bad. And then the Tech ones are, seem to be easier to kill than the normal ones. There we go. And then there. So now I just got to shoot it and kill it. The Tech ones um, have less health than the normal ones. Like if you find a... Uh, a primal spino, primal rex, primal, they got like mass amounts of health and they are super hard to kill. So, I haven't killed one yet. And I've been playing this mod for weeks now. And I've got fabled RGs and everything at this point. I'm just giving you guys a little spoiler ahead of time in some of my videos that so far ahead in this game, so far in this game, and I still cannot kill one of them primals. <laughs> they are vicious. I had a, a primal tech rex I was knocking down and with my fabled RG uh, later on. And I had that sucker dropping health massively. Then it fell. And there's a couple of spots on this map that are just just tweaked out. I wish they'd fix them. Maybe they'll fix them if they ever revamp it. But if you fall in one of them holes or a dino falls in the holes, you ain't getting them out. Unless you got some way to fly and grab something and pull it out. But that rex fell in there and I just couldn't get it out. And it hit me once and almost killed me. So, I left it alone. Anyway, back to this guy. There we go. He dead. He's so dead. Let's see what we get from him. I'm going to hack him up. Let's look in his inventory. Look at that. That's pretty cool stuff. So, you want to kill these uh, these tech, these primal tech dinos. And look at that. Because I killed it, I got a... Oh. You know what? I just realized something. You know, I got that thing to make a primal tech parasaur from that. I've killed so many... Um primal tech trikes i've never gotten one of those for the trikes i wonder if they have one for a trike i'm gonna have to do that when i get on the game i'm gonna get on the game later and go kill one just to see because i haven't seen it yet because my rg usually eats them i've never hacked them up so i hovered over this for a second so you guys could see it but you can actually craft that thing and make a primal tech parasaur takes a lot of stuff but there you go yeah i took a picture of it i'm not gonna show that but there you go all right, let's go forward. I just want to show you guys a little clip so you guys know. And like I said, I'd never cheat. I always build everything from scratch. I'm working on a little greenhouse on the side of the building. I made a little pathway from the house inside to it. I'm going to break the wall open so we can go in and out of the greenhouse and kind of work from here. 
And this is all, like I said, before I realized that I built this house right over a spawn point. I did not know this exact spot where this building is is a spawn point. So, oops. That's okay. We'll fix it later. But like I said, just want to show you guys a few seconds of this and show you what's going on so you understand. And I'm going to go through the other way and break the wall. So I put a door outside and I got a door in here. And that way we can, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's break it. And these are glass walls. They count as uh, metal walls, so a lot stronger than the stone. And I'm going to have to move her cooking pot when she's done <laughs> so I can get in and out. I actually put that cooking pot there, so she's just using it. So, But there we go. Flashing forward here again, guys. And there says in the Alpha Dodo. This is a male. I want a male so we can breed the females. We've... Uh, we have the uh, females laying eggs, but you put a male in there, they're going to breed a little faster. They're going to make more eggs a little quicker. So so I just figured I saw this male on the island. I might as well tame it. There we go. Knocked them out. Good to go. Not going to show the whole thing here. Um, oh, actually, it don't take long. Let's just show it. So I'm going to put the kibble in there. I don't need a team helper with a dodo. They're going to eat that kibble almost instantly. They're pretty quick. And it's not a super high level. It's, what, 95? It'll tame pretty quick. It's only going to eat one. This map is crazy with the amount of kibble. I don't have anything turned up. This is just a normal settings of Primal Fear. So, but there we go, guys. And going forward again, as you, as I told you before, my RG trap that we had just vanished. Um, and now that I'm looking at the video again, I'm pretty sure that was a Nuka Dodo and it destroyed everything because that was made out of wood and a little bit of stone. So it destroyed the wood pillars and the stone just all broke. So. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm making this out of stone so it's a little more sturdy and I am to the point where I have enough alpha kibble where I need to get me an alpha Argentavis so what we're going to do is we're going to try to get one of these alpha Argentavises so I just got to make me a trap and then I'm going to take my RG over there and try to get one and I apologize for a little bumping I didn't realize my mic was on at this point so you got a little bumping in the background so um just for a few seconds here P apologize about that but what i'm doing this is a normal trap i always make and um i got this from somebody else years and years ago when i first started playing arc so what it is is 21 pillars nine stone ceilings you don't really need nine stone ceilings you can get away with probably six and then um one dino gateway and one dino gate so that's all you need to do it pretty easy and it stays there all the time so now i'm back on that ridge line and what i'm doing is i'm looking for an alpha rg and that red one right there that one is an alpha so there we go that's like a level 50 i think so that'll do you want to start with a low one just so you guys know when you're trying to tame them with a normal rg and you're trying to lead an alpha <clears throat> excuse me it's going to outrun you and beat beat you up pretty bad so you want to go with a low one if i found a 150 or 145 one 14 it would probably kill my rg before he ever made it back to the trap so I'm just going to use this little 50 one here. I think it's a 50. And then we're going to use that one and lead it back. And what I'm going to do is skip forward a little bit. I'm going to show you guys that I actually do it. And um, I do not understand what happens. But this Alpha RG is the only RG I've ever tamed in the seven, about seven years of playing Ark. Six plus seven years. That would, would lose interest like every couple of seconds. It just it would not stay on me. It was hitting me and losing interest. I'd never seen it before. So I thought maybe it was Alpha Argies, but then I've tamed a couple more after this, and, and they, they're they normal. It's just this one RG. It's got it's brain dead or something, I think. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's crazy. There we go. Got his attention. I'm going to try to lead it away. I'm trying to get away from that other one. I got the attention of two. So hopefully the other one will leave me behind. And that little noise in the background, I don't know what that is. But uh, it's probably, a, I think it's a Celestial or something making a noise. That noise right there, that little knocking noise. But as you can see, the, the Alpha RG kept up with me. And then it lost interest. Now that lost interest, on, that's a normal lose interest right there because I got too far away. But now we got its attention. All right, guys, and I'm going to speed this up, play some music. When I get back close to the trap, I'll bring you back.
as you guys can see, that was probably like six or seven times it lost interest there. And I kept having to feed my Argentavis because my Argentavis is almost dead. This thing like beat me up pretty bad. So, um, and it just lost interest again. So I'm going to force feed my RG again, get a little bit of health because they're going to have to let it hit me a couple more times. And hopefully my RG will make this and we will get it in a trap. But I got a feeling I'm going to have a lot of trouble with this one because it just, it just won't stay on me. I don't get it. It just it's really really strange so let's get him up here again let's try to get his attention again and look at that flew right by it no attention it's like it, it's confused yeah i don't get that it should be on me and it's not now it is it is on me but it's not it's this is weird try to go slow so it can catch up to me and hit me once and it lost interest again my lord this thing is crazy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get on foot here, see if that'll work. And uh, it's too far away now. So there's no way. Put some tranks in there and get ready. If I'm going to try to shoot it, I'm going to try to shoot it with tranks and get ready and dry, draw it closer. But it's too far. So let's try again. Let me get on my edge again. Let's try to get its attention again. Come on, dude. Come on, brain dead. Let's go. Come on. Come on. There you go. Stay on me. Stay on me. And getting that trap right there. And it went around the trap. Great. Man, come on, dude. Do you want to go in this trap? I do this all the time. This RG just does not want to cooperate. That's two attempts to get it in there, and it went around. Oh, now it lost interest again. Okay. Mmm. Like I said, never had an RG do this before. It's like, look how bloody I am. You know you want to eat me. Come get my bird. Come get them. Come on, get them. Get in that trap. Get in the trap. No, he lost interest again. <laughs> it was right there. I mean, it's so quick. So quick. Come on, get in this trap. Well, what did it do? It went to the trap and turned around. So I'm going to try to shoot it. <clears throat> and normally, like I said on my previous video, when no one's watching, I could probably hit this thing every single time or almost every time, but I can't even hit it. It's right in front of me. I think it's something to do with this game. There's just no way. That thing is probably really not where I, it is, and I'm shooting it, but it's not there. Let's grab the RG again. Poor bloody RG here. Go get this bird. Of, I don't even know now. It's probably like the 13th, 14th, 15th time it lost interest now. Oh, it still won't even get on me. Come on. Come on. There we go. Make it a little sound. And that's flat. What's that doing? This thing is bugged out. I should have named it Glitch, but I, I didn't when I finally tamed it. So, oops, I fell off the bird. That's not a good thing. <laughs> He's going to kill my bird. No, no, no. I'm trying to whistle. I'm not getting my bird. It's not working. Come on, dude. Oh, no. Yeah, he dead. Okay, my RG's dead. Let's see if I can get him in a trap on foot because I can't got another RG. Well, I do, but I don't want to lose another one. Get in there. Okay, it's in there. Oh, my gosh. It followed me that time. Yay, we got it. Okay, cool. That was weird. I had to lose my RG to get this alpha RG, but we're good. So let me run over here and pick up the saddle so I can put that on one of them other spare RGs we got that we've been breeding. Man, that was crazy. All right, so he's in the trap. We're good to go. Ugh, that was frustrating. Um, I could have clipped all that out and just showed you guys getting in a trap, but I don't like to do that because once again i'm not like other youtubers where i just want to show you guys oh look look how easy this is no it ain't all easy i don't care if you're a professional or not or whatever you want to call yourself sometimes things don't work right so i'm gonna get my gun out we're gonna use these other darts i'm gonna shoot it a couple times let me get some alpha kibble here um let's see if i got any more i'm gonna use one of these tame helpers yep. Let's get a good one. Make sure I tame it. I'm grabbing the 100 one. That's what that one is I just grabbed. A couple more arrows in case I need them. And put them in the crossbow. 
And let me grab some alpha kibble that I already made. I don't need but a couple. Shouldn't be too hard once I knock it out. And this will be really quick, guys. And we'll get this Alpha Argentavis. And then I just got to work on an Alpha Argentavis saddle. So I'll probably have to use a, a regular RG a little bit more to collect a little bit more um, Alpha hide and stuff so I can make a saddle. But we'll get them. Just got to tame this. So what I want to do is show you guys in this episode. I want to show you I got it. And I'm going to knock it out. And we're going to tame it. And we upgrading our RG. So going from a regular RG to an alpha RG. And the next step after this one will be the apex RG. But I need to get this one first. There we go. Let's put some kibble in there. And let's put that tame helper. Let's feed it the tame helper. And that's pretty much it, guys. So um, it's going to be quick. See how fast that thing is. So if you guys enjoyed the video, I appreciate you guys watching. Please leave a like if you like it. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. If you got any comments you want to make, please leave them. I do appreciate comments. Um, good, bad, or otherwise. It doesn't matter. Um, if you want to make fun of my accent, feel free. People do it all the time. It's kind of funny. But anyway, so there's the RG. Let me just show you guys a picture of it real quick so we can take a look at what she or he looks like. And there it is. Nice Alpha Argentavis. We got one, guys. So now we can try to dominate the sky, but we won't. Not with an alpha. There's too many other deadly things in the air. <laughs> the macro raptors being one. But anyway, guys, appreciate you guys. Like I said, again, thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate it. Please leave a like if you do like the video. And I will see you guys on the next episode when hopefully I can get a saddle and take this guy out for a spin. See you later.